Now let's try to make more advanced blog navigation with adding sorting of our links. To be able to do that, let's see once again what kind of data do we get. As you can see, the CDN links fetch doesn't provide us with a lot of information about the stories, like for example, when was this story published. To have that data, we will now change our fetch from CDN links to CDN stories. And with this change we have all the data that we need. Let's work now with the published ad field, which tells us when was the last time this given story was published. In preparation for this video, I published these three stories on different dates. Now let's head back to our blog and clean up the template and add the sorting functionality to our CDN stories request. To do that, we're gonna use a new param, which is sort underscore by and we're gonna check in the Storyblock documentation what kind of values can this param have. As we can see, we need to give it a value of a specific attribute and order. The order can be either ascending or descending. As we stated, we wanted to sort by the published add value. So let's go ahead and fill in that value to the sort by param. And don't forget to put in also the order after the colon. Upon saving, we can see that our links are already reordered. To make the ordering more obvious, let's now render out the published dates of the blogs in a readable format. For formatting the dates, we're gonna use a package called date functions and specifically the function called format distance. We're gonna create a simple method called format date for this. It's gonna receive one parameter called date which we're gonna use to generate the readable date format. And just like that, we're done. To test the different ordering, just replace the sort by order value. 